People of the internet, Retro Reconsur here, and welcome back to another Animal Crossing New Horizons video. Now, I hope you guys are loving the new summer update as much as I am. One of the questions that I have seen a lot, though, online is how do I change into my wetsuit using a wand? So as you guys probably know, you can use a wand once you've unlocked one to change into several different types of outfits. Now, you might think the way to do this is go ahead and strip down completely into your underwear here. And you go up to a cooler or whatever wardrobe item you prefer. And I'm going to say edit wand outfits. Now, for whatever reason, when you go to register a wand outfit and you try to create an outfit, you will not find your wetsuit anywhere in the list here. It seems that the game considers the wetsuit a separate type of item. I'm guessing that has something to do with the fact that it actually enables you to dive into the ocean, whereas these other items here are purely cosmetic all that being said though guys there is a way around this so what you'll need to do in order to get this to work is you'll go ahead and use the cooler or whatever wardrobe item you prefer like i did there and set whatever outfits you want that don't include the wetsuit now what you're going to do is you're going to strip down completely like i am right here and then you're going to go and you're going to take your wetsuit and you're going to wear it now, you can also put on any other item that you want. So if you have glasses or a beard or some type of hat, so like, let's just say I throw in this sports cap item here. Now, you, you already saw I have two wand outfits ready to go. So if I pull out my wand right here, and I go ahead and I'm just going to change into my, my main clothing right here, retro, and you'll see that it changes into that instantly. So even though I can't set up the wetsuit into one of those slots, what I can do is I can go and press A again on the exact same item. So I already put on the Retro Recator outfit here. So if I just press A on it again, it's just going to remove the outfit. And you'll see that I revert to exactly as I was before. Now what's really cool about this is it does not use up the item spot. So even when I change into my Retro outfit, you might think, okay, now the wetsuit's going to go into your inventory. Nope, it doesn't. It's kind of like it's hidden beneath the wand outfit that I have on. Even though it's a hat and even though it's a wetsuit, it is completely hidden. And then if you see, I'll just go here again. Now, if you don't like the hat, you can just go ahead and remove the hat just like you normally would. And then you'll watch this time. If I go, let's go to the karate outfit I have here. So we have that. And then if I go, and this time, I'm just going to say... Now, uh, some people may be wondering, what if you press X to revert outfit? It'll do the exact same thing. Exact same thing. So you can either press X, or you can just go right back to the exact same item and press A again. Now, one of the problems with the wands that's been in there since the beginning of the game is it doesn't allow you to have multiple items in separate categories. I'll show you what I mean here. So like my beard, for example, I would prefer to have the beard on all of these. Now, if at any point you want to add a new wand slot, you will have to go ahead and take off the wetsuit just like you would normally remove any kind of clothing here. And now when I go up to it, you'll see that I can, in fact, access the wand outfits. Now, unfortunately, because I have the beard applied to this one right here, if I go and let's say I try to make a new one down here at the bottom and I say create outfit and I go over to where the beard should be, it is not in here at all. And so what this means, unfortunately, is that the way the ones work, if you would like to use an item in multiple outfits, you will not be able to. So like, let's say that I had uh, this crown. Maybe I had two different types of uh, shirts or coats that I wanted to wear with the same crown. It would not let me do that. So let's say I go ahead and apply the crown here to this one. And then, I don't know, let's find him. Let's put him in his bathrobe here. And go ahead and hit the plus to say done. And we'll just call this one king. Now, because of the fact that I have that one set up with the crown, watch what happens if I go over here and I say create outfit. And I go where the crown should be. And you will find that it is not here. So I, I really hope they add that or eventually update the game so that you can do that because it really would be kind of annoying to have to get multiple items especially something like a beard that isn't even really a clothing item come on nintendo we need better than that with beards we need better than that all right guys thanks so much for watching hopefully this helped you out and now you know how to 
use a wand to change into your wetsuit, at least one wetsuit. Unfortunately, you can only do this with one wetsuit at a time. You wouldn't be able to do it with multiple wetsuits. And if this video helped you out, guys, please consider giving it a like before you go. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll talk to you again soon.